Anna Giacomo is a Chicago resident, Sam Sanchez, a Chicago business owner and chairman of the Illinois Restaurant Association. They both join me now. Diana, your reaction to the results. Good morning, Todd. Um, I, I, I'm not surprised, but I couldn't be more happy um, to have somebody in there that actually takes seriously. We have two very different approaches now of the two guys that are having the runoff. One is very much um, police protection and support the police, and the other one is more of a defund the police and um, self-rule. Uh, so we'll see how it turns out, but I'm, I'm glad the city spoke out and said no more Larry Lightfoot. Yeah, Sam, to follow up on Diana's breakdown of the remaining two candidates in the race, yarn out of the woods with regard to Brandon Johnson. He is in the runoff against Paul Vallis. And as you well know, he is extremely far left, defund the police. So my concern and my question to you, Sam, if he is elected, would it basically be Lightfoot's second term? Um, I mean, we're, we're pushing towards Ballas. Ballas has a lot of experience, come from an old administration of Mayor Daly, which has he surrounded himself with a lot of experience. Uh, Johnson, yes, he, uh, he his nerd has always been the defendant of police. Um, uh, we're concerned, um, unfortunately, that uh, either one who becomes mayor have no control over the justice system in the Cook County. And uh, Cook County is probably the worst run, run county in the state of Illinois. Uh, uh, the, the prosecutor and the judges uh, have to be replaced also in the next election. Okay, so to follow up, Sam, if Vallis wins, are you 100% confident that Chicago will become safer? If Vallis wins, uh, he's headed in the right direction. He's surrounded himself with very smart people, people who have been in government uh, for, uh, previously. Uh, with old Mayor Daly, uh, we, we know that the city was doing a great job. Uh, and we're looking forward to work with him. Okay. Diana, this was an annihilation, simply put. 83% of the voters said, we do not want Lori Lightfoot when you add up uh, the totals and see where she, she landed there. Not a lot of support there. Is this a mandate against woke mayors like Lori Lightfoot that, and the harm that they are causing blue cities like Chicago? I, I believe that it is. I believe that people have just had enough. And um, my message has been go out and change regime, regime change is the only way we're going to fix this. And I think this was a loud and clear message that, that, that this woke agenda is not working for Chicago. A recent poll shows that 61 percent of Chicago residents disapproved of Lori Lightfoot's performance as mayor. Diana, do you know one single person that voted for Lightfoot? And if so, what was their reasoning? Actually, I do not know a single person who voted for Lightfoot, um, especially after I got mugged uh, in January or December in one of the nicest neighborhoods of the city. And, and people were looking at this at happening at 11 o'clock in the morning and they're going, you know, something has to change. Same question to you, Sam. Do you know one single person in this election, last night's election, that voted for Lori Lightfoot? And if so, why? I, I, I do. I do. Not one, but a lot of people that voted for Lightfoot. Uh, she had an agenda on, on saving the Southwest uh, area, uh, bringing up with cultural centers and schools and educational programs. Uh, so I can understand that that sense is uh, going and taking care of these areas that have been ignored for a long time. Okay. Now, you are obviously a conduit to the business community. Will businesses come back to Chicago, allowing you to get the tax dollar base and allowing you to run the programs involving, I don't know, police officers making the residents of Chicago feel safe? Final word to you, Sam. Yeah, I mean, definitely we're looking for business to come back. I mean, the city is starting to, the crime is reduced from what it was a year ago. Uh, uh, there is new investment. We've seen about 400 new companies that come into the to the city. 1,800 new uh, food vendor license were uh, uh, um, applied uh, last summer. That summer, so we're heading in the right direction. I mean, it's 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 a whole, like I said before. I mean, it's the the idea of uh, coming to a city and uh, being afraid should not be the the reason you don't come in. I mean, we definitely have to address the prosecution and the accountability sure. of the crime. Chicago, a once great city, like so many cities in our great country. Hopefully, it will be again because it really is an awesome place. Diana and Sam, best of luck. Congrats on your new change in the mayor mayoral seat. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.